Hillary Clinton supporter, Congressman Adam Schiff, Democrat uh, from California, ranking member of the committee and congressman i should note for our viewers and listeners at home if you have to bolt during our conversation i get it you've got some votes coming up uh, really quickly here your your general reaction to the ig's report well i guess what uh, i found surprising in the report was how little of it was really new uh, most of the facts uh, are entirely well known to the public already in terms of the problems that uh, have plagued uh, subsequent administrations, many administrations, in fact, going back to Condoleezza's Rice, Condoleezza Rice's tenure, uh, Colin Powell, uh, Secretary Clinton, uh, as well as uh, the current secretary. So these are uh, deficiencies and problems that have been identified uh, across many years and many administrations. Uh, and the nature of them is really not much of a surprise and not much that is frankly new. This, this was a bit new to a lot of folks here. The, the, uh, the IG's report, including mention of an incident where an IT director at the State Department was asked about concerns involving Clinton's email server. The director was said to have instructed the staff never to speak of the secretary's personal email system again. Doesn't that just add to the perception that, that we've seen in, in poll after poll questioning uh, Hillary Clinton's trustworthiness? Well, you know, I think if you look at the OIG report as a whole, it shows the same kind of issues uh, in each of the prior administrations with each of these last four secretaries of state. Uh, so you could as well say that they would raise questions about each and every secretary of state. I think the more accurate reflection is this has been a systemic issue at the State Department. And indeed, the OIG report says it goes beyond the State Department and affects really uh, across the entire federal government. As we have moved into the Internet and email era as of about 20 years ago, uh, our record-keeping practices haven't kept pace. They haven't been consistent. Uh, and the OIG lays out a series of recommendations, which I think are very sound, that both the State Department and Congress ought to look to implementing. Uh, but again, this has been a cross-cutting problem, and I don't think it's fair just to focus on this secretary because she's running for president. Uh, we should note, while we're having this conversation, we are waiting for the, the former Secretary of State to, to speak there in, in California. When that happens in Buena Park, we'll go to it. Uh, this, is what, this is what Hillary Clinton told our own Andrea Mitchell about this, this email controversy last year. Take a listen. This was fully above board. People knew I was using a personal email. I did it for convenience. I sent emails that I thought were work-related to people's .gov accounts. Well, Congressman, that, that statement would, would seem to be somewhat counter to the findings in the report, especially that everyone knew she was doing it. Was she just wrong? Did she just not re recall? Uh, you know, the report also identifies that many people did receive emails from the secretary, uh, were aware of a private server because of the nature of the email address uh, that the emails were sent from. Uh, so I think there's certainly abundant evidence within the IG's own report uh, that people at State Department were aware of her use of the personal server. But look, the secretary said this was not the best practice. If she had to do it over again, she wouldn't. Uh, but uh, Colin Powell used exactly the same practice. He had his own uh, use of a pri personal email for all of his official business. So again, this is an issue uh, not just for uh, the past secretary of state, but uh, even Secretary Kerry has acknowledged at times using his personal email uh, account uh, for official business. So this is a challenge, and I suspect if you look carefully, which we really haven't done, at each and every other department of the federal government, you would find similar deficiencies in both Democratic and Republican administrations in terms of meeting the strict requirements uh, and policies of uh, record retention. California Congressman Adam Schiff, we will uh, have to leave it there, Congressman. Thank you. Let's update today's microphone.